we have just successfully created a new executable script called script.sh. And we have successfully executed it using absolute or relative path to location of this script. Here are three different examples for execution of this script. But we are not able to access it like this. And if you want to do so, you need to modify path variable. But first, let's create a new subfolder in the home directory for this user, Bogdan user. And inside of it, we will place this script file. And afterwards, we will add path to this bin folder to this path variable. Let's do that. Let's first create a new folder called bin here in home directory for this user. And here I see this folder. And now let's move this script.sh file into this bin folder. For that, I'll use command mv and move script.sh to bin script.sh, like so. And now if I list the contents of the bin folder, I'll see script.sh file here inside. Let's cd to bin and here type pwd, print working directory. And I see full path to bin folder. And now I need to take this path and concatenate it to this path variable. For that, you need to do following. Let's first copy this section and next type following command. Export path equal sign dollar sign path next column and let's now paste copied path to bin folder. What this command will do? It will take existing path variable and concatenate to it this section. Please don't forget to add here colon. And afterwards, this resulting path will be exported into path variable. And technically, we will rewrite existing path variable. Let's try to press enter and see what will happen. Let's use echo and type now path variable. And now I see that this section was concatenated to previous path variable. And now I am able to execute that script that is located inside of the bin folder here in home user directory for Bogdan user anywhere I want. Let's try to do that, for example, here in bin folder. Type simply script.sh without any prefixes, without any paths, like so. Let's press enter and I see result. Script was executed successfully. Hello from the custom script. I could cd, for example, to root directory like so and enter same command script.sh and result will be the same. And the reason for that is that now this script is located in path here and I am able to access it anywhere I want. And of course, if you want, you could even remove this extension and name the script without any extension at all. For example, let's rename it to, let's say, my script without extension. Let's use mv command and here I need to use absolute or relative path to this script file. And let's use relative path home directory. Here will be bin script.sh and let's rename it to bin. And here will be simply my script without any extensions, like so. Enter. And now let's try to execute this my script. Simply type my script. And result is the same. And if I list contents of the bin folder like so, let me do that. Let's actually add the dash L option. I'll again see that this file is executable script. It is in green color and here I see executable permissions for specific user, for owner of this file. That's how you could pretty fast and easily allow execution of any executable script from anywhere by adding a path where this script is located to path variable like we did here. Great, that's all for this lecture and that's all actually about uh, executable scripts and permissions. I will not show you how to create more complicated scripts and if you want you could do so. Actually, executable script is simply a set of shell commands, nothing else. You are able to perform any actions you like. You could create variables, you could perform any other actions like list files, grab output of some commands and so on. Script is simply a set of commands that are executed one by one. Alright, that's all for this subsection and next let's talk about networking in Linux systems. I'll see you next. Bye-bye.